in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Welcome back. In today's video, we are doing a bit of plowing with our Case Maxim 150 and our Cavernaland 4 furrow reversible plow. And for once, we're not using the press. If you've watched the channel for a while, you'd know nearly every time we plow, we use the press. <laughs> but we're just in smaller fields, so you're turning around so this press would just really slow you down so we're just not bothering using it and we're under a bit of pressure to get this plowing done but I'm sure we will take the plow out or not the plow the press out because it does do a great job on plowed ground doesn't it I'd say it gets rid of one cultivation like it really levels off the plowing for you so when you're going at it with the discs you can go quite fast which everyone likes there's quite a few ruts these headlands are quite bumpy, it's a bit, bit of pain, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I was ploughing another field earlier on today, and it was a bit smaller than this, the so runs were a bit shorter. I'd say they're about the same size overall but this one's got longer it's a long and narrow field whereas the other one's a bit more of a square so i was plowing that this morning and now i'm on to this one so if you're enjoying today's video or if you do enjoy make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel we're quite a bit over 1000 now so I don't really know where to aim but yeah just hit the subscribe button see where we get to who knows maybe 2000 by the summer 
foot. Uh, if you've any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them, well, to the best of my abilities. I don't know everything, but if you ask about why we do something or what way we do it or why we don't do something on the farm, you can be fairly sure you'll get a response. This is the first bit of ploughing we've done all year and it's the 4th of April I'm pretty sure. So we are quite late this year. This time last year I was ploughing for the maize and yeah, this is the first bit we're doing this year so we're a bit behind schedule but sure pressure is only for tyres so we'll on going. We've got some more ploughing videos coming up and we'll have a dung spreading video coming up hopefully we'll be doing this or doing that this weekend. So if you want to see that make sure to subscribe to the channel and it should be up in two weeks time. And then it'll be another ploughing video after that, I'd say. We've quite a bit of ground work to get done now. We've got this eight acres of ploughing, which, which I have pretty much, I'd say maybe three acres, three acres of the eight left. And then, what else is there? There's a good bit more planning to be done. There's 13 acres over there and there's another five over there. So, what's that, 18? 18 acres more plowing. Then all of that will have to be disked at least twice, I'd say. Then, we've, over on the sheep ground, we're gonna put beet there again and we're gonna put in arable silage over there. So, what, how much peat are we putting in? There's four acres over there and eight acres here. We've 12 acres of fodder beet to sow, so all that has to be, all the ground has to be prepared for that. Then we've five acres of maize we're gonna sow, and we've 15 acres of arable silage to sow. So, a good bit to be done, but, We'll get there. So there's a lot of different crops to be sown, so there'll be a lot of different videos made of the crops being sown. And if you want to see that, you may be subscribed to the channel or it won't pop up, so make sure to subscribe and you'll have a lot of new videos coming up. I might even go back to putting a video up a week, I'll have to see how much footage I get and if I've time to edit them or any of that so I just have to see what happens but maybe I'll go back to the video a week if anyone is wondering all the cattle are still in we just don't have the grass and ground's been too wet so no point wasting it. And we also ran out of, well we haven't quite ran out, but we've had to buy some forage. We bought, I think it was 18 bales, silage bales, just to keep us going, because the maize pit is pretty much empty and so is the grass pit. 
I think most farmers in Ireland are in the same boat this year. All kind of run out by now and everyone's just trying to get cattle out. And I know some of you will be looking at my line and say, oh, it's not very straight. And I know it isn't, but I'm not really bothered to make it straight in such a small field because by the time I have it straightened out, I'll be into short work and then you've just wasted all your time because you're doing short runs anyway. So I kind of just go with whatever ditch I went off and then just keep going. And then if it's a bit crooked, it's a bit crooked. I don't really mind. But in bigger fields, I do try to keep the line a bit straighter, but not today. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight. video so I now have the our Simba Express our three meter Simba Express on our case and I'm disking some of the ground I was plowing the other day it is now I was plowing on Tuesday it's now Friday and this video is going up on Saturday so just said I'd put this in because I don't know what other video I put it in so yeah there'll be a few clips might put the GoPro up outside the tractor in a minute or two but yeah I just want to explain why there's a bit of disking in here we're just getting ready to sow the next crop so under a little bit of pressure today but not too bad And the plan is to go dung spreading tomorrow, which will be another video, so make sure you're subscribed to that. This is the first bit of work we've done all year with the Express because obviously we just started flowering the other day, so now the discs are on. And I'm already starting to regret not using the press in here. It really does help with leveling the plowing and I'm struggling now because the tractor's that bit heavier, I'm sinking in and then I'm not getting enough clay on the discs to cover in my tracks in some spots, so it's a bit annoying but we've learned our lesson now so I won't plow without the press unless I really, really have to. So this is about all the talking you'll get from me now. 
So we will go on to some GoPro footage from outside the tractor. Then it'll be the end of the video. That's all that will be in today's video, so if you did enjoy, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll have another video up in two weeks, which should be dung spreading. And I will see you in the next one.